Hello guys, what is up? It is your boy Spooky Noodles and I am here with a book review. Yeah, I know. Um, I listened, this is an audiobook review by the way, so I'm going to talk a little bit about the audiobook, but not too much. Um, but yeah, uh, this is an audiobook review of I Have a Bad Feeling About This by Jeff Strand. Now, I originally thought this was going to be a coming of age horror book because I, I hear Jeff Strand is a great horror author and... He's just someone everyone needs to check out. And I checked him out and I was like looking through his books and I was like, oh, he has a few coming of age stories. I'm going to start with, I have a bad feeling about this. It has really high ratings. So started with it. And then I came to learn that it has nothing to do with horror, <laughs> but that did not, uh, that did not knock down any stars for me. I gave this one a solid five stars. Um, is it, it's a rarity for me to read a book like this, um, but I'm very happy that I did pick this one up. Uh, I was like halfway through it and I'm like, where's the horror? I mean, I'm having a great time, you know, I'm having a great time with this book, but uh, where's the horror, <laughs> you know? And then at the end of the book, there's a little bit of an action, you know, scene here and there. And it's a great comedy slash thriller i have no idea what to even call this book but um it was a lot of fun um i'm gonna read my review on goodreads and then i'll talk about the book a little bit more and the audiobook and then we'll end the video so here we go <clears throat> at first i wasn't I, at first uh, blah, blah, like if i can read guys at first i was hesitant about this book usually i only read horror and rarely go outside my comfort zone that being said, I gave this one a shot since I've ha heard since I've heard great things about Mr. Strand's writing and because this was a coming of age story and I love those. So this story is absolutely hilarious. Three exclamation marks. From the camp antics to the survival guide tips at the end of each chapter, this book was darn funny. And I use darn because I can't use damn because I, I don't want to be censored by Goodreads or Amazon. Uh, I can't recommend this book enough. Five flipping stars is what I give it. This book had me laughing out loud while I was walking my dog around the neighborhood. And now my neighbors know me as the crazy guy who laughs randomly while walking his dog. Oh, if they only knew what I was listening to. So the last part I said was, oh yeah, that's right. I listened to this one. Uh, the narrator was fantastic and he did a great job. Five stars all the way. Yes. That's another thing I want to talk about. The narrator. Fantastic narrator. I don't remember who narrated this, uh, story, but he did a phenomenal job. Um, I really enjoyed his, his, uh, see, I'm going to use a word, but it's not really the correct way to use the word, but it was like kind of like a I don't know, um, like a sardonic way of saying things, you know, like the guy, the character's really sarcastic. So he put on this sarcastic voice that was overly sarcastic and I liked it a lot. It added to the humor of the book. And, uh, I really enjoyed this, uh, audio narration. Uh, <laughs> I probably would have liked it less if I didn't listen to the audio book, but I listened to the audio book and well, who knows what I would have liked, you know, I might've really liked this book reading it, but overall five stars. I really like this book. Um, like I said, this is about these kids who go to uh, survival camp and their camp instructor is just a loony, you know, he's a drill sergeant and he thinks really highly of his credentials and stuff like that. He's got real grenades and guns and stuff like that. And it, it's just, uh, it was just a lot of fun. Um, they're, they're, they have like, um, they have little things they have to do. Like they shoot arrows. Uh, at the end, there's this whole survival, uh, thing where they're given paintball guns, uh, knives that, that have paint in them, which they, they, uh, they're not real knives. They like, when you press it against someone, they collapse into the, the hilt. So, uh, yeah, um, and that, that whole sequence was really fun. Um, you don't know, like halfway through the story, you're introduced to these mob characters and that's when the real story really kick, kicks off. Um, this story has an overall 3.74 rating on, uh, Goodreads. And usually I would say that's a pretty good rating for normal books, but for this book, I think that's a tremendously low, you know? This was, for me, a five-star read. Um, this was a really good book. Um, this one has 1,107 ratings, 
and 244 reviews. I don't get it how this book is so over or underwhelmingly reviewed or viewed. Um, it was such a fun read. Um, this has got to be one of my favorite coming of age stories of all time. Now, I am a huge coming of age person. Um, I can tell you off the bat my top two favorite uh, coming of age stories of all time. That is Ron Kelly's Fear and The Traveling Vampire Show by Richard Lehman. Uh, now, this story makes the top 10. I don't know who's getting bumped off, and I don't know. I might have to rearrange the list a little bit. Um, but but uh, this definitely will make the top 10, or top 5, I should say. Definitely, definitely the top 10. But uh, it should make the top 5. Um, whew, it's a hard one, because I think Within the Woods is in there, and that might be number 4. So it's hard to beat the Within the Woods so I would say it's just below Within the Woods. So I think that would put it at literally number five. So um, I really enjoyed this book. Jeff Strand is... I think if I read another Jeff Strand book, I may have another favorite a author on my hands. Like, literally, this guy is hilarious. Like, his writing is fun, and it's... It's, 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 it's just fun guys. Um, and this wasn't even horror. So I have to imagine that when I read a horror book, like, uh, oh, I don't know. There's this one that he recently wrote. I think it was like something to do with autumn. Let me check real quick. Um, oh, here it is. Autumn bleeds into winter. I think it's called. Yeah. That's another coming of age story, but I think this one has more to do with horror. And I already bought it on ebook, so I'm going to read it one day. Um, this one came out in 2020, and I can read you the de description because I'm actually really excited to read more of Jeff Strand's work. Oh, never mind. This is, oh, well, actually, it's not that long. Uh, I'll read the synopsis to Bleeds into the Winter, or Autumn Bleeds into the Winter, and then uh, we will end this video. So here we go. Somebody has been abducting children in Fairbanks, Alaska. One of the victims was 14-year-old Curtis Black's best friend, Todd. Curtis saw it happen. He knows exactly who did it, but he can't prove that it was his neighbor, uh, Gerald Martin. The authorities find no evidence of the crime. There's nothing they can do. So he's given, or he's going to confront Mr. Martin himself. And this is just the beginning of a terrifying story. From the author of Pressure and My Pretties comes a nerve-wrecking coming-of-age thriller. Yes, uh, this is one of those stories where it just blew me away, the synopsis. And with Just Strand's first coming-of-age story I read, or not his first, but the one that I read first, um, I have a bad feeling about this, which is what this book review is about. Um, his writing is just fantastic. Fantastic. It's phenomenal. It's one of the best writing styles I've read in a long time. Um, <laughs> I know I hate tooting my friend's horn, but, um, you know, it, uh, there's only one writer right now that I think is a little bit better. I don't know what's in my pocket. I got a bunch of salt in my pocket. What the heck? I salted the sidewalk this morning. Well, we don't really have sidewalk, but I, I uh, salted the pathway to the house. So, um, yeah, we live on a street, like our city decided we don't need sidewalks. We don't need no stinking sidewalks. So we don't have sidewalks, <laughs> but anyways, um, I know like I always get pissed off about people riding their bikes in the road, but you know, if you don't have sidewalks, where are you going to ride your bike? Right. So I, they get a pass here, but anywhere else you ride your bike on the sidewalk guys. I don't care. I don't care if you're a professional bike rider. I don't care if you're going faster than people can walk. I don't care if you're running people over, you know? Just don't get in front of my car. <laughs> well, not my car because I can't drive at the moment. But, uh, yeah. Okay, I'm getting off track here. Um, that was the synopsis for Autumn Bleeds Into Winter. This is a review for I Have a Bad Feeling About This by Jeff Strand. Both books are by Jeff Strand. Um, geez, if I were to give you my top five list of coming-of-age stories with the adjustment that uh, is I Have a Bad Feeling About This, um... So you got Fear at Number One by Ronald Kelly, then Richard Lehman's uh, The Traveling Vampire Show. I really don't remember my list very well. Um, sorry, that was gross. Um, I think The Voice of the Night is number three. The number four is Within the Woods. 
And then I'd have to give it to number five being, I have a bad feeling about this. Now, that might be incorrect because I do know I liked Boy's Life a lot by Robert R. McCammon. So that might also be in the top five. So I'd have to really th sit down and think about my list. I also, there was Matt Hayward's Those Below the Treehouse, which I kind of knocked down because uh, a little bit, but um, I overall enjoyed that story a lot. Um, then you have the October Boys by Adam Millard. Like, I love coming of age stories, guys. I really seek these things out. I have a whole uh, section in my library dedicated to coming of age stories. Um, in the Scrape was great. Uh, Keelan Patrick Burke's The Turtle Boy was great. You know, there's a lot of great coming of age stories. And uh, I, I'm just, I, you might think, oh, it's a top five coming of age list. That's not that big of a deal. It's just a coming of age list. How many coming of age stories are there? There's a lot of coming of age stories. Thank you very much. And Jeff Strands is freaking amazing. I have a bad feeling about this. It has nothing to do with horror. And I would have enjoyed a horror element to this story. That's why it's not like number one. Because Jeff Strand's writing is phenomenal. It's my one of my favorite writing styles I think I've ever read. He's hilarious. Dude's funny. And I like that. The There's only like two other authors that I, I, I prefer more. And that is uh, with the writing styles. That is not saying they're stories per se. But uh, well, maybe they're stories. I don't know. Uh, and and again, I don't want to toot my... I said this earlier and I never got to the point. But uh, I don't want to toot my own friend's horn. But... Um, Aaron Beauregard's writing is just phenomenal. The way he describes things is just brutal, and I love it. And then you have Ronald Kelly, who's just my favorite author of all time. Him and Rath James White are just up there as my top favorites. Um, I have a lot of favorite authors, to be honest with you. I just have a lot of people I respect in this horror community. But Jeff Strand is quickly climbing the list after that one book that had nothing to do with horror, and yet I loved it. So, yeah. I'm giving this book five stars. I'm not talking about I Have a Bad Feeling About This by Jeff Strand. Um, got my new NASA hoodie on. I already stained it a few times, but that's okay. Um, it says National... Uh, I can't read it. I can't read upside down, but you read it yourself. NASA. I love NASA, guys. I love space. I love sci-fi. I love... Yeah, so, you know, I I have the first three books of the Aliens series, book series, by Steve Perry. I think all three of the first ones are by Steve Perry. Oh, the third one is by Steve Perry and Steph, Stephanie Perry. So, I'm guessing Stephanie Perry is either his daughter or his wife. So, or maybe even his grandkid, I don't know. But I do want to read those books one day because they are sci-fi horror and sci-fi horror is amazing. Um... And by the way, my friend Mike Duke is going to have a book coming out soon that is sci-fi horror. I think it's a trilogy, actually. And it's uh, or it's either that or a duology. I don't remember what it is. He has a great cover artist working on the art. And I just want to give him a shout-out because I don't think I gave Mike Duke... I don't give Mike Duke enough shout-outs, you know? I wish I could give him... I, I wish I could just do a, a whole video dedicating it to authors that I know. But, okay, this is not... I'm getting off track here. This is a review... For Jeff Strands, I have a bad feeling about this. It's an amazing book. I'll put it somewhere on the screen. Like, I don't know when. Like, probably in the beginning of this this uh, this uh, video. I'll put it, like, right here. I'll put the uh, picture. But anyways, I hope you guys are having a great day. I hope you have a spooky night. I gotta head out and send my friend. I'm not gonna mention who it is. I gotta send my friend a box. You know who you are if you watch this. Uh, I'm sending your box out today. I'll email you so you actually know because you might not watch this but uh yeah i'm sending out my friend's box today it has a really good books it has some good books in it i even put a autographed book in there so yeah you my friend get excited because you're getting an autographed book by two authors yeah this was a co-authored book so it has two author signatures in it and they're, I don't know about the one author, because I haven't really read anything by them, but the other author is pretty big name, so yeah, it's a pretty awesome deal. I got it for free, so I wanted to give someone else it for free, so yeah, just know you're getting an autographed book, and it's going to be awesome, you're going to be so excited, and blah blah blah, yeah, 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 yada, yada, yada. But anyways, uh, did I already say the outro? I don't know, I'll say it again. I hope you guys have a great day, I hope you have a spooky night, and I'll catch you in the next video. Yo, peace out.